Mom and pop shops are the heartbeat of New York City's economy, but there's new research shows that rising storefront rent is taking its toll on those small businesses. CBS 2's Al McLogan covers Queens and shares this story tonight in Jamaica. Mother and daughter Tamika Edwards and Venice Bolton moved here from the island of Jamaica in 2008. Now they're side by side in another Jamaica, running Diamond Laundromat on 141st Avenue in Queens. What's your favorite part about working with your daughter? <laughs> they think we're sisters. Yes. <laughs> but making ends meet as a small business isn't easy, with expenses like machine repairs. Um, I acquired some of them that were out of service, and um, the maintenance of them is a a real challenge for us. An increase in rent could be devastating. City data show a spike in storefront rent across the borough post pandemic, with Southeast Queens seeing a jump of nearly 38%. In areas where the rent increased, people of color made up 72% of the population. Offering two and a half thousand dollar grants. To help, the Greater Jamaica Development Corporation is distributing grants to 150 entrepreneurs of color in Southeast Queens. We really hope that this will help businesses uh, navigate some of the rise and costs out there. While loans and grants can bring a short-term boost to businesses like Diamond Laundromat, the future of small business in Queens hangs in the balance. A new survey indicates nearly one in four small businesses may shutter next year. While rent stabilization can help tenants in residential buildings, advocates argue small businesses should benefit from the same protections. Without the stability of small businesses, we have no community. Aneta Sicharan is executive director of Chaya, a community development nonprofit. She says big chains will swallow up mom and pop shops unless elected officials take action. The city, state, and federal government have resources, but they're often inaccessible to small immigrant owned businesses. The owners of Diamond Laundromat have applied for a grant, which they hope will bolster the faith they already have in themselves to succeed. I don't think anybody else can do what my man I. <laughs> in Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. And the application portal is open for the grant for entrepreneur, um, entrepreneurs of color. You can find more information on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And Al McLogan is our community reporter in Queens. If you have an idea, reach out to her for some uh, story suggestions. Send her an email, queenstip at cbs.com.